There is a big problem with science right now, and it's leading to a lot of people feeling lost and confused, and I specifically mean exercise science. It does seem like there isn't a day that goes by where there isn't a new research study that comes out where it seems to go counter to everything that you thought you knew, and it kind of feels a bit uncomfortable to see that. This can quickly lead to people feeling like, are they doing things right or wrong? And they start to feel lost, confused, anxious. Just to name some of those that have come out recently, should I be having more protein to optimize gains? Should I be training to failure or should I not? How much volume should I be doing? Some people suggest more, less. Science seems to indicate more is better. And I'm not gonna to admit to be able to solve all these questions and all these problems in just one video. But hopefully this video, for those of you who do get a little bit stressed about one study coming out, I can give you a tool that's gonna to allow you to not be worried and take that into perspective. The key is putting new studies into context. So one study never changes the game, it just adds to a body of literature that we already have. It's kind of similar to, <laughs> the analogy I can come to as a football team within the Premier League, we're talking about soccer here, football, we'll call it as a Brit, that's where, where I come in. And one game doesn't massively dramatically impact their position in the league, especially the more games that have been played because you've kind of accumulated evidence of how good that team is at this point. So if you win, but you've lost 20 games before that, you're still gonna be low in the league. Similarly, if you lose, but you won 20 games ahead of that, uh, then you, you're still gonna be pretty damn good in the league. But if it's early within the league, there's not much games have been played, then that's gonna strongly influence where you're at. But we just don't have enough evidence at that point to know whether or not you're gonna win the league or not, because there could be 20 more games in future where you win them or lose them. So we just can't be sure. It kind of, uh, the, the picture isn't clear when there isn't sufficient evidence. And so you can think of the situation where there's been 20 games played and then you get one game and then that gives you an indication of a direction of where that team's going, as if those 20 games that have already been played are the kind of body of evidence that's already out there. And so when you zoom out and you add those uh, that new study to those other games or that new game result to those others, and where you are in the league as a whole, it's kind of like a meta-analysis. So a meta-analysis is basically a study of studies. You can put it like that, where there's some inclusion criteria, and then they look at kind of what does the body of evidence say? And then that gives you a much clearer direction of where things are headed versus anything else. So another way to think about this that I've mentioned several times on the podcast, the Revive Stronger podcast, if you're not listening, you should definitely be tuning in is to use the bead model of truth. I, I like this because it's a very uh, clear way of looking at things. It's based on the fact that there are no absolute certainties. There are doubts on each claim that is argued and it was developed by Dr. Littleton. Uh, and it's based on uh, a bead being on a wire. So we have this kind of think about having a wire here and we have a bead on it. On one side is like total belief and the other side is total disbelief. And in this way, we have this bead and say we're kind of closer to one or the other end, we get a new study and it just nudges you in that direction or that direction. So we believe in it more or less. It doesn't suddenly take that bead and go, oh, we were all the way over here based off all the evidence we had and now we're over here. It just nudges it in a direction that obviously depends on multiple factors like the, how, um, how impactful is that study, but still it's just nudging you. So it, demonstrates two things really clearly. Uh, there are no absolute certainties. So again, we're just moving on this bead, more or less certain, and that a belief in a claim changes as new evidence is presented. So again, more or less belief. Science evolves, that's normal. We should be comfortable with that. We shouldn't just throw it out or jump on a new study as if it's the new flashy thing and that's what we absolutely must do. And we should also realize that beliefs therefore shift gradually. Like new studies don't mean you throw out everything you already knew. We just adjust our understanding over time. So in summary, a lot of people are frustrated with science because it seems to flip flop all the time. But the reality is we're just refining what we already know. So when you do see a new study presented, whether that be on social media or what have you, or if you're presenting new evidence, try and always reflect upon where does that take us given what we already knew, put it into context, what does the body of literature say? What does your 
uh, like the rest of the evidence uh, suggest and use the bead model the bead model of truth does this slightly shift our understanding it's unlikely to be a total game changer and guys uh if you have found this to be useful this is where a coach can come in someone you can bounce ideas off and also so can work as a sounding board but also that coach should be taking this approach already and they can help you not stress over the research because they're kind of they have an understanding for you and they can help guide you in the right direction so uh, if you are interested in coaching that is what we do here at revive stronger and i often have these conversations with clients where i make sure to give them perspective where they might send me a study or they might send me a social media post and be like what do you think of this and this is what i just went through in terms of my mindset surrounding it using that bead model of truth and understanding there are no certainties and we're just more or less certain and that science evolves is exactly what i do and we do it revive stronger so if it sounds like it would be helpful to have someone in your corner to kind of uh, help those anxieties and that overthinking be removed then certainly as always, it's linked in the description and you can check that one out. But if you have enjoyed this or if you've got any comments surrounding this topic, uh, anything you would add to it, if you just enjoyed it, please do comment below. Make sure to subscribe. Check out the Revive Stronger podcast as well. And I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.